Asteroid alert. NASA is tracking multiple asteroids approaching Earth's orbit at unimaginable speeds. Who better to ask about this phenomenon than Neil deGrasse Tyson, astrophysicist and author of Letters from an Astrophysicist, which my son read in one night and loves, a fantastic new book. All right, sir, thank you for joining us. So, so should we be afraid of these asteroids? What's the deal? Well, first, they're not at unimaginable speeds. I, okay. I can imagine what speeds they're <laughs> Maybe for you, they're yeah. unimaginable. Okay. Um, no, they're, the solar system is a shooting gallery, basically. You think it's just peaceful, tranquil outer space, but there are rogue asteroids. There are thousands of asteroids that are broken loose from the asteroid belt whose orbits cross the orbit of the Earth. And they're out there, and I, it's not a problem if they're out there, provided we know where they are and how to track them. Excuse me. Provided we know where they are, how to track them, and how to deflect them. That third part of that is, is an issue right now, because it's not good enough to just know you're about to die by an asteroid. Yeah, you want, you want no. to try to do something about it. So are we not able to deflect them? No, we, we know technologically how to do it. There is no funding in place. There's no organizing uh, institution or... Uh, or, or municipal funding, or national fund, international, there is nothing out there to do this. Consider that mm -hmm. if an asteroid comes, you don't know necessarily early on what part of the Earth it's going to hit. And so you really want an Earth-funded defense system to protect all of Earth. And because if it's going to hit a place that they don't have a space program, you're not going to say, too bad. Yeah. No, you want, you want to protect the species. So that's something that we don't we haven't yet figured out how to do. Wow, um, it kind of. By the way, it requires cooperation. That's oh. the problem. Yeah. Oh, well, that then it's hopeless. Then I'm just <laughs> totally depressed. Um, on this specific topic, though, my son Thompson is a huge fan. As I said, he read your book. He's been bending your ear in the green room. I'm sorry about that. He has an urgent question for you on this. Listen. Hi, my name is Thompson, and my question to you is: How do you think the universe will end? Is it going to be that asteroid hurtling at us? How do you think that, well, that would be the planet. That wouldn't be the universe. But what, what, how do you think the universe will end? Uh, the universe will end, well, we know it will, uh, current data has currently shown and has always shown that we will expand forever. And as we expand, the universe cools because the density of energy becomes more and more diluted. And we ultimately approach the temperature of absolute zero. So the universe will end not in fire, but in ice, mm -hmm. and not with a bang, but with a whimper. Mm. Um, you say that the way you do on so many of your programs, and how have you managed to bottle so much interest in science, in space? Um, you know, you've gotten a whole new generation of people so engaged in the field, so excited about it. I mean, here in New York, you run our biggest museum, but you are known all around the planet. What's your secret? No, it's, it's not. First of all, I, I'm a fan of Carl Sagan's edict, which is when you're in love, you want to tell the world. Mm -hmm. So there's an energy to share that love of this topic. But also, I'm just reawakening a curiosity that I think we all certainly had as children and may have been lost in adulthood or beaten out of us or, or, or faded. But I can take some cosmic knowledge and fan that flame, have it re fan those embers, have it reignite and then send you off so that you want to be a part of space as well. That's not hard to do. I got good material. The yeah. universe makes good material. You have great material <laughs> and you've inspired many members of my own family. Tell us a little bit about your new book. Oh yeah, so this it's just a collection of letters that exchanged letters that I've received uh, spanning the last three decades. Most of them are concentrated in a 10 year period where my email was actually public. And you could, it took a few clicks, but you could get to it. And there's a whole chapter oh, wow. there on parenting, a chapter on, on death and dying. Mm. There are people, a man who got six months di uh, uh, cancer diagnosis, he's gonna die in six months, wrote to me, uh, thanking me for helping his retired years go as, uh, where he can become a lifelong learner. I was very moved by that. Yeah. I included that letter. There's a chapter on hate mail. Mm. One of them is from an angry fourth grader after Pluto <laughs> got demoted. Oh, yeah. Um, and another one, was there's a 22-year-old young man who writes and deadpan apologizes. Dear Dr. Tyson, when I was 10, I called you a poo-poo head for demoting Pluto, and I just want to apologize <laughs> if that hurts your feelings. So, so that's in there. There's a letter I wrote to family and friends on September 12th, 
mm. 2001, w having witnessed the collapse of the towers from mm. four blocks away. Wow. So that was a very uh, important part of my life as it is for all of us. Um, there's a letter to NASA in there. Um, it's a testimonial to my father. Wow. At, at, so, so it's a lot of communication yeah. for, and w with people. Many people are, are in search of meaning and they have a bit of angst about their uh, purpose in life. Yeah. And they came to me and I have some cosmic perspective to shed light it. on what path they might take. I love it. Well, my son enjoyed the book. He wanted me to ask you, does science disprove religion? But we don't have time for that. So <laughs> oh. don't worry. Don't worry. You don't have to answer that right here. Neil deGrasse Tyson, the great. Thank you for coming on today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. That was something else. How well, about yes, that? Yes, I know. Where I you going almost on fell us? off my chair there.